my name is Jana Edwards and though this is going to be difficult for me I want to tell my story about my experiences with Family First Life. It happened in 2021 and I've been so embarrassed and ashamed that I was scammed. I lost tens of thousands of dollars to lead fraud and it mentally devastated me and has taken a huge toll on my marriage and other relationships. I haven't financially recovered even though it's been two years and I want to bring my story public because I really believe that people are being hurt and I want to do my part to stop Family First Life from scamming more people. It started in July of 2021. I was looking for a job and I was in introduced to Brittany. Brittany leads a Family First Life organization in Colorado and claims to make over $400,000 per year. She told me that I could expect to make at least $250,000 to $300,000 per year if I committed to buying $1,000 to $1,500 in leads per week. She said that purchasing this many leads from Family First Life CRM would ensure $10,000 in income per week. I was encouraged to get a credit card specifically for leads, which I did. Early on, I was contracted with very few carriers. Um, Americo was the carrier that Family First Life told us to write over every other carrier. carrier. They, they made sure I was contracted with them early on so I could write their policies. It wasn't until later that I really discovered why. As part of the trainings, I was giving scripts to follow. The actual training consisted of listening to Brittany and other agents make live calls using the scripts. And this is really where I saw the first red flag. In the scripts, agents are told to lie and say that you're calling from the benefits office in say, Mariposa County or whatever county the lead lived in. Though it was a lie, it opened the door for a conversation because the person on the phone actually thought you were with some type of government authority. The leads that you're encouraged to purchase through the Family First Life CRM were instant interlet leads. The receipts for these leads say that MailPro Leads is the company. These leads, I was told, are completely exclusive. I was told that they are pushed out instantly when a lead fills out an online form. I was told that they are sold only once and never resold. When calling these leads, I quickly, quickly discovered that I was not the only person calling them. The people I called were often irate and some mentioned that they were on the do not call list. When people said this, we were coached to tell them that the do not call list does not apply to us because we're actually calling them back in response to their online request with the leads being false in that the person didn't actually fill out a form. You can imagine how angry this made them to basically tell them that they were lying. After some time calling leads, I began to find out more and more that they were false. I called people who had been dead for many months. I called people who didn't live at the address on the lead form. I called people who had never filled out a lead form. But I did get some appointments and I did make sales. I had a very high close ratio once I was in the home. The money from the sales, of course, I was encouraged to put back into buying more leads, to put back into the business. When visiting the homes for my appointments, I saw a very, very obvious pattern. Nearly every single person I visited was either black or Hispanic and almost 100% were at or below the poverty level. There were times when I left a person's home 
and just sat in the car and cried because I knew I had just sold them a policy so they could leave something to help their family, but their family couldn't afford basic necessities for living. The way that these leads target minorities, low income and the elderly, it, it really is just an atrocious crime. I mentioned that early on I was contracted with Americo. So we were told to sell Americo because we were told they had the best policies, they provided the best coverage, and of course the highest commission payout, and then they would pay us very quickly. I followed instructions and sold Americo. Not long after selling an Americo policy, I would often get a chargeback. The chargeback would then negate any commission I earned that week, so I couldn't afford to pay off the credit card debt. So as one card was maxed out, I would get another card, believing the narrative of Family First Life that if I continued to work hard and follow the system of buying enough leads, I would earn at least $10,000 per week and I could easily pay off the card within a few days. And, and I did make sales. I made a lot of sales, but it took me a few months to put together why I was getting so many chargebacks. Because the leads are not exclusive and they are recycled, I would often call a person to whom an agent had recently sold a policy. In these instances, all agents are coached to offer a free audit to the person's policy to make sure that they were getting the best deal. If they were sold an Americo policy, we were told to look into Mutual of Omaha for the person. This is where I started connecting the dots. I noticed that my Americo policies were getting large chargeback. Mutual of Omaha policies are often half the cost of Americo. So if someone had an Americo policy, I could easily sell them a Mutual of Omaha policy. Then the person would stop paying on the Americo policy. It would lapse. It would give the agent who sold the Americo policy a chargeback of their commission, which was paid in full up front. And this is what was happening to me with my Americo policies and why I was receiving chargeback. I recently learned that this is called churning and Family First Life agents are coached to do it. I even had other Family First Life agents tell my clients that I had sent them to make sure they were getting the best policy. Clients called to thank me for sending someone because they wrote a new policy and got a better deal. I had no idea that they had just given me a chargeback, but still, I kept pressing on with the company. I just stopped selling Americo. With, with the leads, in addition to the data in the leads not being instant as advertised, I noticed that the leads weren't exclusive as you were told. I often purchased the same lead from Everquote or another lead vendor. And as I began to realize that these leads purchased through Family First Life lead system were fake, when I started looking for other lead vendors, I asked around Family First Life since it said to be a team environment, of course, why not ask other agents who they were using for leads? So I started asking uh, about leads and I started asking people if they were making money after chargebacks. I, I wanted to find someone other than just my upline that I could learn from. Within minutes of asking questions on Facebook page, um, I would be banned from the groups. It, it truly was almost instantly that I was banned. I also received a call directly from one of the top executives at Family First Life named Zach, who told me to stop calling people. He told me that the leads were good and that the system works if I'm willing to work hard enough. I really thought the call was strange. Why not be open and honest if everything is above board? In the meantime, I did sell $10,000 a week in policies. After hitting that marker, 
The very next week, my sales suddenly dried up. I mean, nothing. I was buying the same leads, doing the same activities, but I suddenly didn't buy any leads where people answered the phone. I, after months of consistent sales, suddenly everything stopped. It was at that point that I was encouraged to try virtual sales. I was told that because I was successful with in-person sales that virtual sales would be a great next step. And in virtual sales, you're told that you need to buy double the instant internet leads to achieve the same result as in-person sales. And this really is when the light came on in my head. It was at this point that I went to the Secretary of State website and found the filing for the Leeds Company and discovered that the registered agent for the Leeds Company is associated with Family First Life and Sean Mike. That led me to research WorkSpots. WorkSpots is an office membership that all Family First Life agents are encouraged to join, if not to use, just to join for the lead discounts. They offer weekly lead discounts on leads bought through the Family First Life CRM. And in checking their registered agent through the Secretary of State, I discovered that WorkSpots also has a registered agent affiliate, affiliated with a Sean Mike company. It was at this point that I, I fully realized that Family First Life is an organized scheme to defraud agents and the public. I realized it was no accident that nearly every single lead I purchased led me to clients who were minorities and impoverished. Additional proof that the leads are fake and is not advertised came when, again, at the advice of Brit Me My Upline, I began to purchase mailers. According to the Family First Life Leads Department, these leads, which cost between $40 and $60 each, were from postcards that they supposedly mailed out on my behalf. The scam I was told was that when people fill out the card and mail it back, the information would be immediately sent to me. 100% of these leads were not as advertised. When I called the people, many had not lived at the address on the form for years. Other di others didn't recall ever filling out a form. Not a single one of the leads were recent and none had the correct information of the person on the form because they were so old. They were definitely not at all the type of mortgage leads I was told that I was purchasing. Needless to say, I canceled the leads as soon as I was able, which was a fiasco in itself. The whole time though, Family First Life continually maintains and still maintains that it's not a lead company. I'm sure you can see how this is not the case just from my story. They're very nice to work with for the first few months until you start to realize that the leads are fake and that you are coached to lie. You are truly made to believe that if you purchase enough leads, you will be successful. Please, please don't fall into the trap. Please don't be like me. I have been unable to recover from the damage to my finances and to my credit. Simply the emotional toll that such a large amount of debt has placed on me and my personal relationships is inconceivable. It, it affects everything and everyone around me. Even when trying to get a release from Family First Life to continue my livelihood as an insurance broker, I was shocked that the release contained provisions that would eliminate my right to freedom of speech and freedom of competition, making it difficult for me to make a living in the insurance industry. The release even stated that the Family First Life lead system is a trade secret and confidential information. Just having this in the release proves that they have something to hide and they own the rights to the lead company. I really believe that Integrity Marketing Group, its subsidiaries, Family First Life, Sean Mike, and his managers, they all need to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law for crimes against agents, 
for crimes against protected groups of citizens and elderly abuse. I believe that Integrity Marketing Group, Family First Life, Sean Like and his managers should be prosecuted for lead fraud, for churning, for selling agents books of business when they leave, for encouraging agents to sell to other clients, sorry, to sell to clients who have already been sold a policy by another agent, which is churning and other crimes associated with churning, with lead fraud and misrepresentation. The facts prove that Integrity Marketing Group, Family First Life and its managers, they act with malice. This is premeditated. These are aggravated attempts to cause harm to the public and agents for their monetary benefit. It's my opinion that it is in the best interest of the public that Integrity Marketing Group, Family First Life and their related companies be ordered to cease all business dealings and that the executives and managers be placed in jail, especially for misrepresentation and the sale of leads and the sale of leads and policies that target low income, fixed income, elderly and minorities, mostly black and Hispanic, impoverished. If you've been affected, I, I really encourage you to tell your story to help someone else from falling victim. We cannot be silent or the damage will continue. I don't want anyone else to end up like me. The daily stress of tens of thousands of dollars in debt and chargeback is so hard to deal with. Even two years later, it haunts me every single day and I am so far behind financially, I don't know how I will ever recover. Please don't fall victim to Family First Life. There is no easy way to make money in insurance and the Family First Life income promises are not realistic, especially after chargeback and expenses. Please do your research and investigate for yourself. You deserve to be told the truth and you deserve to work in an honest environment. Remember the old adage that if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. This is definitely true in this instance. I really, I thank you for taking time to hear my story. I'll post videos from other people who tell their stories so you can make an informed decision. Please take care and be strong.